Hey guys, welcome back to my channel, and if you're new, hi, I am Brown Printer Beauty. I don't even know if I can say welcome back to my channel because it has been so long. I have got a new job, so I've been very busy and I barely have time to do anything, but I'm working on a schedule, so hopefully you'll see more videos from me very, very soon. Uh, but in this video, I thought uh, I'll do a quick makeup look where I do basically makeup for work so if you like what you see then keep on watching and I'll explain all the stuff all the good things all the products I've used how I use them all the good stuff so without any further ado let's get started okay so here I am using my watermelon mist by glow recipes just spraying it for some hydration then I'm going to take my Too Faced primer uh, I work pretty much eight hours a day not pretty much exactly eight hours a day if not more um, so this primer will make sure that my makeup doesn't move then I'm taking my Kat Von D foundation with my Clarence Beauty Balm mixing them together so the consistency of the foundation is not so thick and I'm just applying it all over my face and then I'm spraying my Glow Recipes spray mist again so that uh, the foundation kind of loosens up and really feels like skin and now I'm taking my beauty sponge and spreading the foundation all over my face uh, pressing it not dragging it now I'm taking my Too Faced concealer and I'm putting it under my eyes a very little bit on top of my eyelid uh, because I don't want too much of cakiness and I'm just gonna take my beauty sponge again and spread the product and basically spread anything left over on my eyelid uh, like I said I don't want too many layers and just spreading it and then setting it with a Kat Von D translucent powder I'm just first setting my under eyes and my eyelids and then I'm gonna actually put it all over my face so I'm taking very little and I'm just going to put it all over my face as well just to mattify the face and set my foundation so it doesn't move throughout the day. And once I've done that, I'm going to take a brush and I'm going to kind of like buff everything out nicely so there's no harsh lines or anything like that. So now I'm taking my Too Faced uh, bronzer. Um, this is a beautiful warm toned bronzer that I use kind of like a contour and also warming up my face so you can see I'm warm, warming up my cheeks, my forehead and my jaw area. If you hear a lisp, I've got braces so that's why I can't speak properly. Here I am taking my Tarte Bazaar brush palette brush blush palette uh, and I'm just using a brownie sort of red color to give me a rosy glow and now I'm using my essence highlighter and I'm taking the warmer color um, to give myself a highlight and also going on my brow bone just to highlight that as well this highlighter is very very subtle it gives you a nice glow but doesn't look very harsh um, so that's why I like using it during the day now I'm taking my Mecca uh, brow pencil First I'm brushing out any products from my brows, any foundation or powder, and then I'm just going to fill in my brows. I don't think I've got my brows done yet, so I'm just going to make them look more filled instead of fuller because I've got thick brows at the moment anyway. So just trying to make them look very, very natural instead of um, making them look very harsh, especially for the daytime. You want to make them look very, very natural. So I'm just uh, going in now with my Hourglass Brow Gel just to set my brows in place so they don't move throughout the day and also just combing any extra product out. So now I'm taking my Jaclyn Hale Morphe palette. This is volume one and I'm going to keep my eyes very very simple. I'm taking a fluffy brush and I'm going to go in with this chalk brown and I'm going to start concentrating on the outer corner uh, with a pack full of color and then I'm just going to blend that out towards the inside of my eye and I'm just going to keep on doing that until I am happy with the strength of the color. I'm trying to keep this very simple just concentrating on one color and just buffing the color out and making it darker as much as I can or as much as I want and once I'm happy with that I'm just gonna make sure there's no harsh line everything's blended in nicely and now I'm gonna go in with the similar color sort of kind of like a chocolatey shimmer brownie copper color and you can use your fingers if you want I'm using the other side of the brush it's really nice to pick up the pigment as well so I'm just gonna use that and just put it anywhere you see the space uh, all over my eyelid until the brown meets the shimmer and I'm just choosing the strength that I want so I'm just adding layers of the color and once I'm happy with it I'm just going to go in with the same brown color that I used before and blending any harsh edges out making sure everything looks nice and smooth 
and just buffing out any harsh lines and once I'm happy with it I'm gonna stop. Now I'm gonna go in with my Fenty Beauty eyeliner. Um, I quite like this eyeliner. It's nice. I like the texture. I don't know about the tip but it's not bad. Um, I like the texture like I said. I don't know about the uh, the tip of the pen and now you can see I'm not going really with a wing eyeliner I'm just drawing a line and making it thicker to my liking and the outer corner I'm just making it more smoother instead of like a wing if that makes sense because I don't want to make my eyes really poppy um, just want to make them look nice as you can see I am checking the big mirror just making sure um, that the line is not too too harsh and also I just want to mention while I'm carrying on doing my eyes uh, is you will see the lighting change and that's because my ring light has broken and I am working with natural light and natural light does not like me so it keeps on changing anyway here you can see I'm just drawing a very thin line on my lower lashes just to make my eyes look slightly bigger uh, it's just on the like the outer side of my waterline and sort of in my waterline so very very thin line here I'm taking my Lash curler from Shiseido and I'm just curling my lashes. I'm not going to put fake lashes on. Like I said, it's for work and I don't think many people put fake lashes on for work. I do sometimes, uh, but I don't think many people do. Here I am just singing and deciding what mascara I want to use. I'm using my L'Oreal Telescopic Mascara. Uh, this is a good one to really give your lashes a nice lift and thickness without making them look clunky or chunky. So yeah, I like this mascara. It's really, really nice. So here I am just putting layers. I think I put three layers of mascara. Yeah, and just adding that on my top and bottom lashes. I try not to make my lower lashes look too dark. Um, just giving them enough color to make them look like I've got lower lashes, but I'm not going crazy with the layers. Now I'm taking my lipstick. This is by Pat McGrath. This is called Omi and this is kind of like a nude pink which I love using for everyday use because it just looks nice, um, doesn't look too harsh on your lips especially for daytime and just has a really nice texture. I'm gonna buy a full size of the same color because I love using this lipstick for everyday. With bold eyes or simple eyes it looks fabulous. Now I'm taking a clean paper towel and I'm just rubbing my lips on it so that any moisture is gone and my lips my lipstick stays on my lips for longer that's one of my tricks that I usually do just to take out the moisture it just sticks to your lips here I am thinking what hairstyle do I want I was gonna leave my hair the way it is but I thought I'll do a quick little cute little bun uh, for daytime like kind of like a professional looking bun so uh, here I am thinking should I? Should I not? And I do. I don't know. Sometimes I don't even know what I do. So while I was trying to make the bun, my com my camera stopped working. You can see me gathering my hair, but here the camera stops. So all I did was just put my bun, like take my hair at the back and roll it and just put it in a bun and just take out any little pieces of hair from the side so it just looks nice and classy and a classic and yeah basically that was it and I'm just taking out little bits and pieces um, I think it's been three days I haven't washed my hair so it was nicely textured so it was very easy for me to get the bun right uh, otherwise sometimes my hair is too silky and it's tough but here I am just making sure that my hair just sits nicely looks nice and that is it this is the video guys it is such an easy quick simple look for every day I love wearing this it just looks put together it looks really nice and goes with anything that you wear so yeah, if you liked this video, then give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. I promise I shall put more videos. Until next time, have a beautiful day. Be happy and positive. I'll see you guys later. Bye.